Welcome to Ibala Travel. My name is Kevin and today Jenny is behind the camera. Just briefly. If you're wondering why I'm hanging out in a hammock, that's because we're back in Mexico's paradise. Don't miss out on our video on Mexico's paradise. Put up in the link up here. We're in Puerto Escondido, one of our favorite places in Mexico. And today we have a special vlog on how to open up a bank account in Mexico as a dual citizen. So in case you're wondering why you may need to open up a bank account in Mexico, well, maybe you want to purchase a car or you want to purchase land or if you want to send e-transfers because unlike back in Chicago or in the United States, there's no Zelle or Cash App, you might need a bank account so you can send e-transfers to somebody in case you're going to stay at an Airbnb for a month or you want to split a tab somewhere at a restaurant. So there are many reasons why you may need a bank account in Mexico. And it comes very handy. I mean, we have our bank accounts back in the United States still, but it's very expensive for you to be using your debit card in Mexico as you get those foreign transaction fees. So it's important to have a Mexican bank account if you're gonna live in Mexico, right? Uh, I actually took like four trips to BBVA because the first time I didn't have an ID. Finally, for the fourth time, we were able to open up our bank account and this literally was a span of two weeks of going in and out. Every trip was about an hour and a half because the lines were extremely long just to open up a bank account. So that's, that was my experience and I hope that this video helps you avoid those hassles and headaches and standing out in the sun because it was super hot during that time. Making a transfer in Mexico or transactions in Mexico can be kind of a headache sometimes. Very often they are full, there are long lines, and we found having a mobile app was important to us because that way we can send transfers and not have to wait in long lines at the bank. Also, we're gonna share with you which banks we use because uh, we do have a different variety of banks that we use for travel, and then you can decide which bank fits you. There are different options in Mexico for banking. There's BBVA, there's Scotia Bank, Santander, Banco Azteca, HSBC. So there are a variety of both Mexican national banks and international banks um, that have branches and locations in different places in Mexico. During our research, ultimately, we chose to go with BBVA specifically because of the ease of its mobile app. It sounds like a very simple and basic thing um, because that's, we we're used to all banks offering really good mobile apps back in the US, but in Mexico that's not necessarily the case. Like Kevin mentioned, that going to the bank physically can be a hassle, it can take up a half to an entire day. With the, a good mobile app, we can make all of our transactions and get all the information we need um, directly from the app and avoid having to wait in the long lines and make trips to the bank. Um, and so for us, the biggest reason we needed a good uh, uh, a bank account that had a good uh, app is so that we can make e-transfers for paying locals for like things like little like purchases or paying rent. It's just so much easier to send local money um, when we have a Mexican bank account. We can't just simply send a electronic transfer from our American bank account to someone's Mexican bank account because there are going to be fees involved. Um, so we keep a few different bank accounts and I'll go over which ones we have and why. So first, we um, have used Citibank for a long time. It's just been the bank that we've been with the longest. And so we've kept that one and um, we keep a majority of our savings in those in those accounts. And we have a credit card with Citibank as well. We have this City Premier credit card that gives us travel points and we really enjoy using that. We've gotten free flights thanks to the travel points. So we, we're not endorsing it, but it's worked for us. So um, I would say it's a pretty good option. So when we opened up our BBVA account, um, so Kevin is going to talk about the requirements, um, but what we did was send a transfer from our Citibank account to our BBVA account, just one large transfer and have that be money that we keep aside in case we need to make purchases or send transfers. Um, and that helps us keep a budget. Um, actually, when it comes to budgeting and spending cash in Mexico, we use Charles Schwab. We love Charles Schwab and we recommend that for travelers. Again, not sponsored, it's just something that we've enjoyed using and we would recommend to others. 
We really enjoyed Charles Schwab because it's entirely online. We were able to sign up online. We got our cards through the mail and they reimburse all ATM fees anywhere in the world. We we're able to withdraw from any bank here in Mexico with using our Charles Schwab debit card and they always reimburse all of the ATM fees. So we're able to get pesos directly and not even though our account is in US dollars. So we have two accounts with US dollars. One is specifically for um, withdrawing cash and traveling. Um, when we can, we use our travel credit card for points. And when we need to, we've got the BBVA to make um, local e-transfers. So here are the requirements to opening up a bank account with BBVA. Number one, very important, you need your Mexican passport. They're gonna ask you for your Mexican passport, they're gonna read it off. If you don't have a Mexican passport yet, make sure to check out our video on how to get your Mexican passport and how to become a dual citizen. And we list out the steps in order so that you can make your trip to get become a Mexican citizen. Another thing that you will need to open up a bank account is another form of valid identification which can include a driver's license or your INE. So here's the story, when we decided to open up a bank account in March, uh, elections were actually going on at the time, so we weren't able to get our INE. The INE is your voting card in Mexico which serves as a valid identification in Mexico, but because elections were going on, I wasn't able to get it, so I had to find another way to get a, uh, an identification, and that was getting a driver's license. We will definitely have a video on how to get your driver's license because that was one adventure to get. So that's gonna be in a, in a separate video. So the third thing that you're gonna need to open up a bank account is a proof of address. Here, well, like maybe you're staying in an apartment, uh, you rented out an apartment or you're at an Airbnb. Maybe you could ask your host to uh, help you out with a copy of the, the bill, a utility bill that you can use as a proof of address. Or maybe you have a friend or a friend of a friend that could help you out. You just have to show you have an address. So hopefully you, ha you can get somebody to help you out with this uh, proof of address. Uh, hopefully a landlord or a friend or a family member. Number four, you're gonna need cash to deposit in this bank account in Mexico. So you're gonna open it up. Uh, banks always change their policies so we got two different options either we keep 2,000 pesos in the bank account for a lifetime or we buy a life insurance through BBVA for six months and that would waive the minimum requirement for the bank account so we ended up choosing the life insurance for six months so that we didn't have to keep a minimum of 2,000 pesos in the bank we're actually just about to cancel our life insurance because we opened up our bank account six months ago. And lastly, you're going to need a Mexican phone number to open up an account with BBVA because your Mexican phone number is what you use to open up the mobile app with BBVA. BBVA will not accept a foreign phone number. We actually didn't have a, uh, a Mexican phone number at the time. But what we did is that because our phones were unlocked, we were able to buy a Mexican phone number SIM card and insert it into our phone and use that as uh, a way to open up a bank account. We purchased the SIM card at an OXO. It was about 250 pesos for two weeks. And that's what we used to, to open up the bank account. You don't necessarily have to keep the phone number active because once you activate your mobile app, you can use that for any customer service or they can message you directly through the app if there's any issues going on with a bank account. And here's another issue that happened after I opened up my bank account with BBVA. So the lady at the counter actually opened up my bank account as a foreigner because they saw that in the Mexican passport, it said that I was born in Chicago, Illinois. So because it said that, they wanted, they actually ended up opening up my account as a foreigner. This was an issue because I am a Mexican citizen, and if you're opening it up as a Mexican citizen, then they should open up the bank account as a Mexican citizen. <laughs> Try to avoid that mistake, make sure that when they give you all your paperwork that you really, that you read it through because it was an issue, they wanted me to come back to the bank to make that change. And I wasn't even in Puerto Escondido anymore. Apparently, wherever you open up your bank account, that's where you fix your issues. I was actually in Merida, and there was no way I was gonna fly back from Merida to Puerto Escondido to make that correction for them. So to avoid all those headaches and all those issues, make sure that when they open up your bank account that you're opening, they're opening it up for you as a Mexican national. And that's about it. As far as what you need to open up a bank account with BBVA. 
If you have any questions, make sure to comment in the comments below in regards to how our bank account is going now, how it works now, do we still like it? And if you open up a bank account in Mexico, make sure to share your experience in the comments down below because that could also help other people who might want to open up a bank account with a different bank. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Se cuidan, se vayan, y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.